Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Mall. Good morning, Tiff. Happy Monday to you. Happy Monday. You know, the Super Bowl went late last night, so I was a little tired. Yep. No, I know. Um, this is like historically the day that many people call in sick. It's like hundreds of thousands or something. It's true. It's also something good for a certain business because there is a study that said that this certain business gets a 200% increase if your team loses a Super Bowl. Do you know which one it is? I think you do. I do know what it is. It's those businesses that uh, fix cell phones. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So <laughs> cell phone businesses, uh, people must get so mad if their team loses, they just throw their phone on the ground. Yeah, I was thinking last night that it's probably more common if the game is really tight. And right. it, yesterday's game was not an example no. of a tight, exciting game. But I think people, th their emotions are so wrapped up in it. It was funny because I had I read an article that I looked up again, and it was from a, a, a number of places that fix phones. And they said the most common way that people break their phone is by just dropping it on the ground. <laughs> the second thing is water damage. So like going to a pool, which all of my kids yeah. have dropped a phone in a pool before or and we've all toilet. tried to put it in the thing of rice to try and dry it out as quickly as we can yeah in fact i have a bag of rice at home just sitting there waiting yes. for somebody's phone and then the third thing is in anger um and in, they said watching sports being at a concert mad at a partner partying hard are just some of the ways that people break their phones because of extreme emotion there you go. I mean, seriously, people are getting real, real upset with their phone. So I yeah, do that. I've sure. only broken mine a, a couple times. One was on accident. It was in a pocket that went low enough that when I closed a car door, it actually was in the car door. Yeah. And then another time just dropping screen. it. What's that? That's how you crack a screen. Oh, and that was one of the, the tips that they had because dropping it, you know, or like, you know, you in a car, they say that the, the number one best thing you can do to protect yourself from that is put one of those tempered glass screen protectors on it oh, right away and no, install it. And I have a fairly new phone, but it's probably a year old. I still haven't done that. Oh, I, I get one every single time. I've broken like five of them. But I do know that if you register them a lot of times, because I think they give you like a year or two on them, something like that, at least the one I've gotten from Apple, all you have to do is if you register it, which I never do, so it's my fault, but they'll send you a new one. Because I break them all the time. You're oh. supposed to not be able to. Apparently, I can. <laughs> yeah, apparently you, you're you're on their list then. But then it's always just that top screen, right? It's never my phone. So I'm fine with it. I'll break as many of those as I need as long as my phone is fine. Yeah. It's expensive. Uh, it's so expensive. But that's our sound off for today. How have you broken your phone? We know we've all done it. Well, most of us have. If you haven't, tell us how you haven't, what your tip is there too. We might need to know that one as well.